talking about whoever's, uh, first of all, born again, okay? When you're born again, that means you, you're putting off the, the wickedness, but the stuff that you do in the world, like smoking cigarettes, that's one well, one know. wicked thing, well, okay? You have to know the name of the, name of the, the most high, you have to know the name of his son, okay? Yes. You have to keep his commandments. I'm burning up the point of hell. I no, no, I, I didn't say that. I didn't say, I, I didn't say that. I didn't say that, okay? I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are. I'm going to put words in my mouth, all right? All right? So there's multiple things you gotta do to be saved. Okay, matter of fact, the dude just left, left on that point, right? About salvation. Okay, there's, there's, there's multiple things you have to do to be saved. Okay, the first, the first thing you have to do, you have to be an Israelite. Okay, you have to be an Israelite. Okay, and you know, and you know, you know you're an Israelite through the Spirit. Okay, not according to the flesh. You know who you are through the Spirit. Okay? <laughs> I Meaning if, if you're an Israelite among the elect who the Lord's going to save you, when you, when you believe in the, the Most High and the Son, and you keep His commandments, okay? That's a sign. Alright? Okay? He let them. Yeah, he, he's, he, he's most likely a leader, you know? Yeah. This is uh, Joel 2 verse 32. Okay, yeah, I'm about to say, yeah. In the cell come to pass that whosoever so come. This, this is why the Lord said, made that statement in John 3 and 16, alright? And this shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance. As the Lord hath said, and huh. in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. Exactly. So when you read John 3 and 16, you should say, okay, where did the, the Lord said that he didn't come in his own name. He came in the name of his father, through his father's word. So what Yahweh Shah said out his mouth, you should be able to verify in the Old Testament. All right? So, he just verified it in the Old Testament, in the prophets. Like all the hotel. He did have a really crazy sense of deja vu when that fucking Latina bitch was walking by. Yeah, yeah she's like here. Well, no, no, I seen her, but then, then I was looking at that Edomite thing, why? This looks fucking real familiar too, like you yeah, was fucking yeah, here yeah, before. He, he, he came by the first time we came to the camp uh, uh, some other occasions. You got your scripture help? Oh, you might hold the camera for a little. Yeah, I got it. Damn. Romans 10 verse uh, yeah, well. 12. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Gentile. The reason why? Because they're the same people, the Israelites. Are you take that? Now we're the real Jews. Okay, according to the Bible, the That's real Jews are the so-called black Jews. He's telling you. We, we are the Israelites. You are Israelite. The people that's on the sound are Israelites. I'm a Christian. The, the Christians are Israelites, okay? Because according to the Bible, it says the Christians were first called Christians in Antioch. And they were Israelites. They were teaching the word. So I'm a Christian. Uh, well, look, 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 the point is, the, 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 the people that the people that were worshiping the Lord, uh -huh. they want to call themselves Christians, all right? So who they call Christians? Israelites. Jew. Israelites. Christians. The, the Israelites will call themselves Israelites. The Romans and the Greeks they would call them the Israelites Christians, meaning they were followers oh. of the Lord. Okay. Oh. The, 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 the people that, that worship the Lord. I believe that he died for them and everything like that. They weren't calling themselves Christians, okay? That's, that's, made, that, that's something that, that's made up, all right? The other nations that were around about the Israelites were calling, were calling the Israelites Christians. Yeah, so Christians not good. No, 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 no. What, what, what we're saying, well, if you were worshiping the Lord in the church, that's not good. Okay? I don't worship the Lord. I should not be worshiping the Lord in the church. Not in the church, no. Because they're not telling the truth. Right. I go to church every Sunday, well, my pastor. They're not telling the truth. Do your pastor have a beer? No. Do, does, he, do, does he eat pork? No. He doesn't eat pork? No. All right, that, that's good, but you both have a beer in the streets. When yeah. he shaves, he don't make a good yeah. name. I shaved for a reason, Jason. I'm only 19. I was like a fool, like a 50 or a 70. Yeah, 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 yeah,
Genesis, you know, our Bible wise, it's not Genesis by the 18th month. Oh, okay, I forgot. Alright, what are they, they teaching you about Babylon? Did they tell you what Babylon was? Mm -hmm, but I wasn't really paying attention to the church. That's something you should have been paying attention to. Yeah, I, I, was, I, I wasn't. I was give busy, me a sign. You know, son. like, I was busy talking to my drummer. Oh, your drummer? Yeah. yeah. Well, Babylon is, uh, Babylon is America, okay? Yeah, cool. Babylon is America. Yeah, the soil that you're standing on, that's, that, that's Babylon. Oh, that, that, yeah. that, that, yeah. that, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. from my faith. You know, it's, prophes it's prophesied in the Bible that Babylon's gonna be destroyed. Yeah, it's gonna be destroyed. Yeah, yeah, but you, you know, know why it's gonna be destroyed? Because people not doing what they're supposed to do, right? Like what? Yeah, exactly, yeah, that's right. They're not, they're not keeping the Lord's commandments. Yes, that's, that's why, that's why it's going to be destroyed. And because of God's people. How long? You know, so how long are we going to be on earth? Because, because in the Bible it says, in the Bible it says that not to stand on the earth could be destroyed and stuff, right? But then, and then the devil did not have to write the devil's Work with, but that's what yeah, the devil's power. in power right now. Yeah, the, the, the devil's in power right now. Yeah, but his thing, his thing, his thing, his thing. No, 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 but you gotta understand, when it says the devil is gonna, is gonna be, loose from, be loose from his prison, yeah. it's, what, it, what it's saying is it's saying that Esau, you know about Jacob and Esau? Yeah. Esau, Esau is the devil. Right. He, he plays the, he's like, he, the Israelites, they're the sons of God, okay? Right. And Esau, they're the, they're the sons of the devil, okay? Right. So it said, the scripture goes that in the last days that, that Esau is going to be ruling the whole earth. Esau is going to be ruling Babylon, okay? Yeah, but the same thing, so when is God going to come back? Yeah. The what, the scripture, the, what, the, what the scriptures say, it says that no man, not even the angels in heaven know when the Lord is going to come back. But what the Lord gave, what, what the Lord gave us, he gave us the signs. To know of his return. Huh? Do you know the return? He gave us signs to know that when the Lord's gonna come back. Okay? I don't know who knows the time. Yeah, but you say you're not seeing any signs? I see good signs, but maybe being healthy. Well, well, the signs the Lord gave us was uh, wars, wars. Like it's a war between Turkey and Syria right now. Right. There was a war in Libya, a war in Iraq, right. a war in Afghanistan. Right. That's in the Bible. That's a sign of the Lord's return. Right? Right. Meaning, meaning that his return is very close. It's right. imminent. Right? Of right. course. So Matthew 24 and 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives. So, look, he's only 19. Yeah, I thought he said 17. Uh, uh, and as he said upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him. Father, he said, tell us when shall these things be, and what so be the, the son of thy coming, so these, are, so these are the signs. Most signs getting ready to answer the disciples' question. All right. So this is what the most be telling you. You come up and say, "Oh, well, when's the most high coming back?" First thing I got to tell you is that we don't know the exact hour. Not even how Shai knows or the angels. But there are things that the Lord gave us to look for to know that we're getting close. So read what them signs are. And what shall be that the sign of thy coming in the end of the world? Uh, in the end of what? End of the world. End of whose world? The end of Esau's world. The end of Esau's rulership on the earth. All right. What are going to be them signs? Go ahead. And the Greek word there for world is, is aeon, which means age. Okay, a period of time, a rulership. Uh, and Yahweh shall answer and say unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying... Yeah, yeah, how many people have come up and said, oh, uh, 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 March is going to be the end of the world. Yeah, May 21st. Or May 21st is going to be the end of the world. December 21st. And a lot of people took that seriously, but not the men of the Lord, because we knew that uh, no man nor the hour. No, not even the day. It's supposed to come as a thief in the night. All right? That's why we got to prepare ourselves for that day, man. We don't know when the Most High is going to put it into this devil to uh, uh, perform a major terrorist attack and, and, and completely shut down the cities, come in with that martial law. But we know that the word is going to be uh, that the stability of that period because we're going to know, oh, 
part of that judgment that the Most High is talking about. Alright? In, in, in your house shall answer and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Yep. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Yep, because you got guys that are going to be claiming to be uh, Yahweh Shah, man. And he saw. Exactly. He said he was into the Lord. He said he was yep. the Holy Spirit. Yep. That, that was on Mount Sinai. He actually said he got the word from the Lord from Mount Sinai. If I can say this real quick too, I was watching this thing on the History Channel. They said there was three people that claimed that they were actual, actually, you know, Jesus Christ or Yahweh Shah. They were saying they were Jesus Christ. Three people. One of them, two of them being Edomites, and then another one being a fucking Moabite. Claiming that they were Jesus Christ. And they had some, uh, the Moabite actually had a lot of followers. So there's already people here today that, that, that claim that they, they are the second coming. But the Lord said when he comes back, he's bringing destruction. Fire. He ain't gonna look like no fucking poop. Yeah. Oh. And he said he's not gonna meet you as a man. So we know that those were all what? Uh, 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 the 